What's up, people? How do I? Cardio. With a hoodie, please. So uh, I might, I might sweat. Hopefully, Let's see how it goes. I'll do whatever it takes to sweat today. It's not an easy task for me to sweat. Although today was legs day, by the way. Yep. There we go. So legs are really, really drained when it comes to energy and strength. But with time, it's quite tedious for me to sweat. It is what it is. It's also very difficult for me to raise my heartbeat. Thankfully, thankfully so, which is a testament that my, my cardiovascular system is absolutely proper. I'm very grateful for that. And when I do cardio, you got the, like a chart here that tells you what is the, the ideal heartbeat depending on your age. Well, obviously, I don't benchmark myself on my age. So I benchmark myself on 25 years old, although I'm 43. And it works just fine. I made several videos on Callum Van Moger, brother. What can I tell you? I don't know how person is. You can watch it on YouTube, I guess. Do you like classical music? No. I don't listen, I don't listen to music at all. Frankly. Sometimes I, I have my radio on, but I don't have a clue who's singing or the name of the song. I cannot do treadmill. Treadmill for me is too easy. There's no way for me to raise my heartbeat on a treadmill. The only thing I can do is this. Pretty much their massive. Yeah, the new generation M2 is definitely better than the M4. Any M4 for that matter. Even the GTS or the CS, the new M2 would be better. What's up, South Africa? You had any simple high calories meal? No. Do you do the stuff before? Replacement therapy? No. Audi or Mercedes? Mercedes. I don't do rowing as a cardio. The only cardio I do is this. That's it. E63S or M5? Both are good. Let's wait and see for the M5 competition package. So where are you guys from? Send me countries, baby, please. Yeah, 911. Not turbo, just 911. Any 911 is the best car ever. Any 911. Costa Rica, South Africa, India and the house. Morocco. No, Callum will not come back better. In my opinion, he will never recover. Especially from the leg injury. Never. He will never be the same. Ever. He will never have good legs. Netherlands. Is that? Finland, Amsterdam. Toronto. 15, 10 minutes of cardio post workout. That's it. Los Angeles, maybe, please. Sweden. Have you ever tested your testosterone? Yes, I did a test like two years ago or so. And my test level were as high as a guy or 24 year old. But my testes were still loyal two years ago. Proper. About to be there, Ireland, India, Hungary, Russia and else. Yeah, I feel bad for Callum, but as for the leg, will never come back as before. Never. Doesn't happen. 
on the ruptured tendon, it's gone for life. It's gonna lift, but will never look as good as it was. Too bad, so sad, bro. I just did lift it today, but I do straight leg deadlift. That's all I do. Do you have kids? No. Kai competing this year? No. Wales, Netherlands. Will Phil win again? Probably. In Egypt. Yeah, I'm early today because I have to go to BMW to do my oil change. So I had to wake up early today. Mark with the water now. I don't do regular squats. I do uh, Smith machine squats. They're proper. You got saw my legs. Funny thing is, for the longest time, I was posting pictures about, like, say, my abs or a bicep picture. There were some trolls asking me, bro, legs, 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 you have no legs. Dear Now, when I showed my legs, they all shut up. All the haters shut up. Like, what the hell? Louis Marco has some crazy legs for real. Right? Same goes for the back. Oh, you don't show your back. Dude, <laughs> my back is absolutely proper. And that's it. That's how you shut up haters. God knows I have a lot of haters because I blocked a lot of people. Thing is, I disregard mediocrity. If I think somebody mediocre or a troll or a hater, I just block him and I don't regret. It is what it is. I'm very proud of that actually. And when these haters see my legs or they see my body now at 43, they can just shut up and that's it. What can I tell you? It is what it is, yeah. You have to accept it. I'm very proud of that actually. I don't, I don't hide it. I'm very, very exceedingly proud and grateful to be healthy and fit at 43. Whereas all the other guys, some YouTubers who are my age or even younger, they're getting injured, they destroy their chest, and they still have their ego and Superman complex. Yeah, oh, bro, they talk with that, with that anabolic voice. It's not their voice because the steroids mutated their, their voice. They come to you, bro, me, no, you know, and the F word and this and that. Dude, you're burnt out. You're chemically burnt. And you destroy your that's chest injury. Another kid who was like, I don't know, in his early 20s, he looks like 50, two injuries. Dude, so that, that's my job. That's my aim here, is to represent naturals and to prevent you guys from pinning, putting that freaking needle in your body. As a matter of fact, even the other channels who promote actually drugs and this and that and promote oil, they recognize that there is something called the addiction to the needle or the love affair with the needle. Dude, it's, it's a vicious circle. It's a hellish ride. When you go for it, then most likely you will stay for it for life. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Zach? God bless you, bro. You know what I mean? You will stay for it for life, man. Can you imagine? You're like 20 and you have to take steroids for the rest of your damn life. And then you have to take an AI, which is an aromatase inhibitor, and take care of your cholesterol, your heart, your freaking prostate, your kidneys. Shit. That's why these guys, they want that broke. Like yesterday, I want to buy some supplements, right? I want to buy some BCAAs because I was out of it. And then I meet a guy who used to work out at my gym back in the day. He is still just a, a simple salesman at a supplement store. And this guy is on juice, he's on steroids forever. You know what? Because he doesn't have the time to think about other opportunities to make money elsewhere. He's just hooked into the gym life and next thing you know he's like 35 and he's just a simple salesman in a supplement store. They cannot take care of their studies, their, their, their work. It, it, it's an obsession because they're always, oh, bro, I have to pin. How is my estrogen level? How is my, my blood uh, pressure? Dude, it's a hell of a ride. It's a freaking hell of a ride. That's why I'm very, very proud to promote natural. I don't even call it natural bodybuilding for God's sake. I call it natural fitness. As a matter of fact, I don't, I don't know if you noticed, guys, but I no longer follow bodybuilders on my Instagram. I follow nobody but whatsoever. The big guys, forget about them. The big guys, I don't follow nobody. No big Rami, no Guy Green. I'm sorry, God bless them, but dude, they're just too much for me. God bless them, but it is. I'm a different 
they're different type of species in a sense. I don't associate with them. I go to a gym where there is nobody who is on juice. So you guys can see it's a small gym with all people and that's it. Nobody talks to nobody, you put your headphones and that's it. I don't want to associate with a freaking dirty scene. When you get to know, it's like, damn, bro, these guys, I was a fan of them. And me, I was a fan of these guys. I was idolizing these guys. Hell no. So until, until my last day on social media, all I'll promote is natural fitness. That's how I represent. I always post pictures of me being in shape at 43 and at 45 and 47 years old at 50 just to represent. The, the most guys I'll save, the most kids I'll save, I'm happy camper. I'll save the most out of you guys. I'll convince the damn out of you to stay natural. That's it. That's what I post pictures, I, I, I post videos that I smoke guys who are, who are enhanced. Damn, I went to Dubai to that freaking uh, muscle show, whatever. I was, obviously, I, I was not in shape. I was not like in, in the current shape. But I, I saw guys who were on juice. I said, damn, these guys, they're not even impressive, man. They're just watery, puffy with estrogen and shit. I can do uh, better than this. Now look what I have done. I mean, I trained for only three months seriously. Just freaking three months. I look at my body, right? I mean, that, I smoke even the, the enhanced guys by some metrics. I saw them my back, so my, my wheel. What the hell? How does he do it? And everybody accused me of using juice, raw your and testosterone replacement therapy. Shit, look at me. I mean, do you see me? Do you see my, my voice changes or, or I have acne? No, just natural. That's it. When I commit to something, I do it right. And all of you guys can do it. As a matter of fact, most of you guys can be better than me. Right? Why? Why? Because my genetics are not the best in the world. This way it is. I have two wrists who are broken. I have a, a, a broken hand. Look, look at my hand. I if you guys can see. Mine has been broken like five times. Look. I have a different joint here. You see my joint? My hand is broken like five times. What can I do? So if I'm able to achieve this, most of you mother lovers who are in your early 20s, I know there's pressure on you because you follow some fake natties. That's it. Me, so that's why I'm representing, man. I'm training people online, and, and you guys saw the, 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 the pictures of my trainees there. Damn, bro. I received so many messages, I cannot even take you all. But that's the expertise I want to represent. I want natural. That's it. That's with food. I have some clients in the Middle East with no supplement at all. They have the best body of their life. They cry when they, when they send me a picture. Bro, bro, thank you, and that's it. So that's my aim right now. I'll stay on social media. Probably soon I will not follow no fitness guy unless he's natural. That's it. So that I'm, I'm so different. I'm divisive. I'm polarizing. A lot of people hate me, especially the enhanced people. They do hate me, and I I'm proud of that. Damn you guys! I don't belong to you. And that's that. God bless you. And uh, unfortunately, I know I'm I'm I'm, re I'm realistic. It's gonna be a minority that will follow me and will stay natural. But these guys that I will say. I'm a happy camper. God bless you and I salute you. If I say I'm just a minority, God bless you. Because I'm not in your shoes. I didn't grow in your generation. Your generation has a lot of pressure, right? You have, you have social media, you have internet. You have you basically pushed to, 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 to enhance yourself, unfortunately. So there's a great deal of pressure and I do recognize that. But if you go over it, you will be a successful man. So my aim is to to just make you comprehend and convince you and, and you come to a proper realization that you will be somebody that happens to lift. Be whatever, dude. Be an entrepreneur. Be a lawyer. Be a doctor that happens to be fit. Do not be a bodybuilder, dude. I'm a bodybuilder and I, and I study now. It's not a career, then. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I hope that you guys will believe me. Believe me, these guys are not rich, they're broke. Uh, there's a lot of hypocrisy, a lot of lies. They lie to each other. They, you guys know that they, they stab themselves in the back. Most of them, and 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 these guys in these uh, circles, most of them are are convicted felons. You guys know them. They're convicted felons. They used to sell drugs. They went to prison. So you need to come here. Do you want to associate with the freaking these guys? No. You want to pin yourself like every single day. I mean, even Boston Lloyd. Boston Lloyd. I mean, he's, he's disgusted when, when he posts those kind of, uh, of cycles that these guys take. 
and the cycle he posted like two weeks ago, I know the guy, and everybody knows the guy, that, that so-called guru who, who gives that cycle, right? He's known, actually. He's known. And he's young. Did you see that freaking cycle? Even Boston Road was shocked by it. And it's true. They take all this kind of shit. Me and I met them, and even their, their order, their scent is different. They don't scent like you and me. They have a different, like a tremble order when they speak to you and, uh, and their breath. Me, what the hell is this? Really, are you a human being or a freaking machine, dude? A chemical machine. So that's that, boys and girls. God bless you. It was a spontaneous video, as usual. Keep it up. I'm gonna save this video because I like it. Damn it, I'm gonna publish it on YouTube so everybody will see it forever. Legacy, that's that. Stay natural. Two testicles. Team two testes, baby, please. Be proud of it. Team two testes, baby, please. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm a fitness guy, very fit. I'm proud of it. Thank you, boys. God bless you.